and welcome to your gold market update for the 28th of April 2022. We hope you're well. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst, Gold Markets here. Let's have a look at what's come across the news today. Of course, overnight we had a choppy session in the US with early gains lost, but major indices still managing to hold on to very small gains. We did have some good earnings action after the bell with Ford, Meta and Qualcomm all beating expectations. And, and that's pushed the US futures higher, particularly the Nasdaq, obviously, which is up in excess of a percent in early Asian trading. Asian markets are generally positive, though Nikkei is underperforming on some early Japanese data that came out and possible concerns about the policy statement that may come out later with other data from the BOJ. Uh, European markets at this stage may open slightly higher if we look at the futures contracts. US dollar index edged higher again. We seem to be saying this day in, day out to new 40 month highs. Gold dropped accordingly and is now sitting below 1900 at around about 1885. Copper moved higher on a bounce and it is up in Asia again today. And all is pretty static around 105 on the Brent contract with markets still a little uncertain about where it should go next, particularly with the potential demand concerns resulting from the China COVID lockdowns. The VIX is still high, it's above the key 28 level, but it softened a little bit during yesterday's trading and is slightly down today in Asia. Bitcoin recovered after testing and breaching the 39,000 short-term support. It's now back at that level, but really there doesn't seem to be much in the way of buying pressure. So one would suggest it may stay within the range that it's been in for some time now. Obviously, there's big US earnings and data today. We've got the BOJ interest rate decision and policy statement, as we've already referenced. That's going to influence both, obviously, the Nikkei and the Japanese yen fairly significantly. We've also got inflation data coming out of Germany, European consumer confidence, and then some big numbers out of the US tonight with US weekly jobs, personal consumption expenditure, which the Fed look at as part of its inflation measures and GDP numbers all out prior to market open. On the earnings front, we've got Apple and Amazon being the key acts, both of those numbers coming out after the bell, but another big earnings day across the board before we get quieter tomorrow. Let's have a look at a couple of charts, start with the GB pound Japanese yen. You can see we had that sharp bounce of 159.60 and that's continued in Asia this morning. We're looking to potentially challenge 162.21. We've already had a significant move up in Asia, as we can see, uh, particularly in the last hour or so, as we get closer to that BOJ decision. Just patience is required here, not only to see what the market response is to that, but to see if this 162.20 could be breached. If it is, then there's a potential move higher with the next key level being around this 163.40. So around about 120 pips up from that key resistance. On the ASX, which is up around 0.7% at this stage, we see some money coming into materials again. You can see on BHP here, not only did it bounce off its 200 MA and this key support at around about 45.40, but you see how engulfing that candle is. Although this candle today so far at 47.66, where it's trading now, doesn't look particularly spectacular. Note that it's trading towards the highs of the session and we suspect that this is something that may continue up to possibly around about $50 in the first instance to retest that key psychological level, which is around about 4.6% up from where we're trading now. So certainly want to keep an eye on over the next few days and looking very positive today. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.